I haven't met a person ever who doesn't love a good deal. Today I'm going to show you four places that I go to look for model railroad deals on coffee and trains. Welcome everybody to another edition of Coffee and Trains. Before we begin, I'm drinking on my Tim Hortons still. Almost done with it, may have to order me some more. And as always, black with two sugars. So today we are going to be talking about where I go to find deals for model railroading supplies and all sorts of different things. Because like I said, this hobby can get really expensive and you just got to get kind of smart about your deals. So the first place that I go to find deals is model train shows. Now, everything is starting to really ramp back up and we're starting to get back to normal. So model train shows are going to become a thing again. Hopefully, I'm really jonesing to go to a model train show. It has been a while, but model train shows are just such a fantastic place to find deals. Not only are you just completely immersed in the hobby and everything that is there, there's all sorts of memorabilia and all sorts of things, but you can find some really great deals, especially on used rolling stock, used locomotives, buildings, things like that. You can find a lot of consignment items, vintage items. You're going to be able to find more of a variety of things than pretty much anywhere else. And not to mention, you're also going to be able to check out some really cool layouts and some trains that are running. So not only do model train shows have the benefit of showing you all sorts of different items that you can purchase and you can make deals with, but you can also check out some of the just really cool layouts that people have brought for display. Now I'm thinking about doing a whole video on strategies for model train shows because you can come in and you can get out a lot if you've got a plan. So model train shows, great place for uh, to find some deals. My number two place is model train shops. Model train shops have all sorts of good deals a lot of times, especially a lot of them have clearance sections and a lot of them also have consignment sections. So going to your closest brick and mortar model train shop can leave you with some good deals. I've seen nearly every model train shop I've been to has a consignment section with it and I've bought several buildings and pieces of rolling stock out of those consignment sections. As a matter of fact, my favorite model train shop, the Little Choo Choo Shop in Spencer, North Carolina, has a whole clearance section in the back that usually I just beeline straight to to see what is in the clearance section. So model train shops are a really great place to go and find deals, especially if you're looking for consignment items. Number three is very similar to number two. We're going to talk about model train website clearance section. So the model railroad websites, the, the retailers that have an online presence. And what I mean by these is a lot of them have a separate uh, clearance section for the most part. And it is something that you can just check out. And a lot of them, I have a couple examples right here. This is Train World right here, and they have a pretty sizable clearance section and specials section. There's a lot of different ones. Um, a couple of my favorites are, of course, Train World. Um, I also like Midwest Model Railroad's clearance section and uh, ModelTrainStuff.com's clearance section. Pretty much every Model Railroad website has a clearance section like this, and you can find a lot of good deals here. You can find 20 to 30% off. Sometimes you can find ha half off certain items. Uh, you do want to probably be a little bit flexible because a lot of times these are not, you're not going to be able to go and search a very specific road name or things like that, but you can find a lot of really good deals in these clearance and specials sections. Next one is one that you're like, why haven't you said this one yet, Jimmy? And that is going to be eBay. eBay is a fantastic source for finding everything used. Now the way that I do eBay is I go and find sellers that I like and that I've used and I will save them in my saved sellers section. So I just go straight back to them. So it's like almost going to a little miniature train shop on eBay. One of my favorites is Model Train Market. A lot of used stuff. They have auctions as well as buy it now. And this is just a great place to go and find. They take all the pictures so you know exactly what you're looking at. They have everything categorized. So you can really get an idea of exactly what you're getting, um, what the condition is. And this to me is very important for buying on eBay. Um, I like several other ones, especially ones that have highly collectible items like this one. And they have it very reasonably priced for these highly collectible items. And a lot of times you can find good deals on little individual packs and um, packs of rolling stock as well. So 
eBay is a great place to look. I do recommend finding some sellers that you like and sticking with them so that because you can get something the way that you don't exactly love it. So eBay, always a great place to find model railroading stuff. So I've actually got a fifth place to look for deals, but this has a pretty big caveat because it is one that the other ones I trust pretty well. This one, it's kind of iffy and you got to be careful with it. And that is social media, specifically Facebook groups and Facebook marketplace and things like that. You can find some really good deals, especially you can find people clearing out estate sales and things like that. Um, but you just have to be careful. I like joining the Facebook groups that are very well populated. Um, one that I know of is model trains for sale, all scales. There's model railroading, buy, sell and trade, things like that. And these a lot of times have estate sales of a lot of old things. You can see someone selling some, uh, old Tyco stuff right there, but a lot of times you just have to be careful, especially with the payment methods. You want to use a very secure form of payment to pay for these. That way, if it's not a good deal, you don't end up using your bank account. So never give your bank account out directly. Use something like PayPal. Um, just be very, very careful when you are using these. I do not use these. Um, I can find most of what I want on eBay or model train shops or model train stores. But if you see something you like here, um, definitely go take a look. Just make sure that you use a secure form of payment that doesn't give away any of your bank account information. So social, you can find stuff, but you do have to be careful. Model railroading does not have to be a terribly expensive hobby. If you're willing to wait and be patient and find deals, they are out there. I want to hear what kind of deals that you guys find and where you find them. You can put those in the comments below. I want to say a big thank you to all of my patrons. They are listed right here. You can become a patron for as little as $1 a month. A lot of cool stuff going on over there. And at the $5 a month level, you get a model of the month that you can 3D print yourself if you've got a 3D printer. So if you're looking for more information on saving money with model railroading, I've got a budgeting for model railroading video I said that I will link at the end. If you're looking to get started i'm going to link a playlist with some videos that you can follow along building your first model railroad right along with me it builds a nice little two foot by four foot in scale layout now before we get to all of that i do want to talk about some of the coffees that you guys are drinking let's see here eric elder so last time we had someone say that they were drinking green tea with half and half and I had never heard of that before, but he says that that is exactly what he is drinking as he watches this video. So I might have to give that a try. The Mill Run and Western Railway says that he drinks uh, 8 o'clock coffee with French vanilla creamer. Now that is some stuff that I have definitely heard of before. And John Walnisty says that... He is drinking single estate, desiring tea, black. So a lot of tea drinkers in this particular episode. So, but you know what? That's okay. Coffee, tea, it all works to get you a good wake up in the morning. I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. And again, check out those videos right here at the end. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Stay safe, be kind, drink some coffee, and happy railroading.